Hello! Today we're going to be talking about manually adding updates in SCCM. Sometimes Microsoft will release a patch like a hot fix or an emergency add a band patch, but it's not released through the normal channels and so therefore you have to go to the Microsoft update catalog to go grab that update. So today I'm going to show you how to manually add those patches in SCCM so that you can deploy them to your uh, machines. So with that, let's get started. So what I have done here is I have, oh, I'm on my WSS server and I've launched the Windows Update Services console. So here you want to go ahead and go click on up, uh, click on uh, update or import update and it should take you to the catalog. Uh, and here you go, I had to relaunch it. So anyway, so I've got the catalog open. Now I am running 2012. Uh, R2 version of the WSS. I am going to be doing a video on how to upgrade to uh, the, the 2016 version of WSS, which I need to do. But for now, for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you how to manually add a patch in SCCM and then synchronize that. Um, so I will be showing you that uh, in just a moment here. So I have a patch that I want to import just to show you. Close that. I had to find a different patch. The patch I selected was 2016, and I don't have a 2016 WSUS, so I'm going to have to upgrade my environment. So I, I picked an earlier version, like SQL Ser Server 2012 Service Pack 4, um, just so you can see what how to manually add. But I will do this video again for the 2016 version. Um, so uh, as you can see, it says version 7, but when I do the um, 2016, it'll be version 8. Anyway, um, so just keep that in mind. So I just wanted to just show you the process of adding something manually that's not available through the normal channel. And this is how you do it. So I picked another update, just a 2012 um, update. Um, and so once you have that, then all you do is click on import. And then it will go through and it'll start, you know, um, Okay, now it's done. So it took a few minutes. So then once I close this, now it's imported that update in SCCM, that patch. So now once you've done that, then you need to go over to the SCCM server and do a synchronization. So let me go do that. And then go to the software library, all updates, and go synchronize software updates and say yes. So once that synchronization is done, that update will now be an SCCM. Now I didn't select adding my SQL in, in the products because uh, I wanted to do SQL you know, manually. I don't want to push out, I mean you could push out SQL updates to, through SCCM, but um, yeah, uh, I, I prefer to do it manually um, so that I can back up the database and do what I need to do properly. And I'll probably do a video on how to do that later on. Uh, but I do need to upgrade my lab environment, which is I'm in the process of doing, so bear with me. Eventually, I'll get everything over to 2016. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to migrate everything so you can see all the migration process. If you ever have to uh, move your servers to a different location or different data center, you'll know kind of what to do. Um, so I'm going to be doing a whole series on that because um, I do need to upgrade my lab. So bear with me. Um, there's some things I just can't show you right now because I just don't have space. So... Um, so bear with me on that. So I'm just doing some things that I can show you for now. Um, so again, this, this, and then when you want to monitor the software update, so getting back, it's in the process. So this does take a little bit of time. So I'm going to speed up the video and uh, I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so when you go to the monitoring section, software updates, point synchronization status, it completed. So now let's go check and see if that update is now in SCCM. So if we go to the software library, let's do a search for that update. And voila, there you go. So now I have manually added this particular update in SCCM because I don't have SQL enabled in one in my products uh, list. So, and that's basically it. That's all you have to do. And it's the same process for 2016, WSS 2019. You just do the imports, and then it goes right out to the application catalog, um, the Microsoft catalog. Then you do that import, as I showed you. And then the next time you do a sync, it should be an SCCM. And now I can go ahead and deploy this update to any machine. And the nice thing about SCCM, it tells me that I've got two machines that need this, um, two um, servers that need this particular patch. Um, I'm going to test this out and see how this works on one of the machines and maybe I'll do a video on how to push off the Service Pack 4 using SCCM versus a manual upgrade using SQL. So 
Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if this video was helpful to you. Uh, ask, leave, leave a comment below if you have any questions or um, if any, any other videos you'd like to see. Uh, again, I'm going through um, all of the requests right now. So this is one of the requests. And um, so again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.